Hey, you're watching a small video from my larger course. If you do want the bigger course, there'll be a link just down here somewhere. Hey, in this video, we're gonna look at the uh, UX researcher process. So we're in our second step of our design process now. So this is as it relates to a UX designer as well. And um, so, and what you're going to have to do here is one of two things. If you've got an existing kind of uh, data that you can work with, great. You can kind of make some, you can do some research and make some great assumptions from that research. Now, um, say it's a, you've got an existing website and it's a new feature or an existing app and it's an extra little feature. So you're going to already have data analytics about the people and their movements and their, um, how they're using the site. So you can kind of make some judgments from that and do that research from that existing data. If you've got a new idea and it's a new site, so it's a new site but an existing field, great, you can do, you can borrow some um, some data, maybe census stuff, okay, um, from your industry, and uh, okay, but say that it's a new app and it had, you know, it's brand new and it's never been developed before, or a website that's never been seen before, um, then there's not going to be a whole lot of research you can do, okay, um, you're going to find most value out of the actual uh, mocking up and um, testing loop. Okay, so don't spend too much time in the research phase. Um, it will depend on what you have available okay, at this stage. So the two main things are gonna be looking at uh, competitive research, okay, competitor research, okay, to see who else is out there and we'll do that in the next video. And then we'll move on to probably the most important part of the research process, and that is building your persona or your user profile. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, did you enjoy the course? If you wanna see the full, big, long, unedited version, there'll be a link just down here.